A Monon waitress has finally reached her dream of becoming a children's book author. Amber Doolin's book, Wilma the Waitress and the Waffle House, was released last Monday. News 18's Kelly Roberts reports how Doolin and Wilma have many things in common. She has served pancakes all day, nearly a hundred and one. Amber Doolin says she told herself she would write a children's book one day. That day came in January 2012. Doolin, a waitress at Monon's Whistle Stop restaurant, says she came up with the idea for her book, Wilma the Waitress in the Waffle House, that day at work. And I started to write a little bit down each at a time on my order pad as I would work and as the ideas would come to me. A year after Doolin started her draft on her order pad, Wilma the Waitress in the Waffle House was released by Tate Publishing on February 18th. Wilma plays a waitress in the book. However, Doolin says Wilma is not that good and keeps getting herself into trouble. She has a lot of mishaps in the book and her mop bucket overflows. The yellow mop bucket Wilma starts to fill. She catches her hair on fire. The birthday candles have caught her lovely bun on fire. Don't you think it's time for Wilma to retire? Wilma ends up leaving her job to try something else. Doolin says she is a better waitress than Wilma, but the book's moral is based off her life. It's kind of my story because I love being a waitress and I love my job, but at the same time, it's not something that I want to do forever. So, and I always felt like this was what I was supposed to do. So, it's kind of like a you can do anything you want story. Next up for Doolin, she says she is going to record an audiobook this year. Then she is going to continue her Wilma series. She says she has four books written with Wilma doing different jobs. Her second book is about to go into production. To find out where you can get a copy of Wilma the Waitress and the Waffle House, visit our website at WLFI.com. Kelly Roberts, News 18.